There we go. I've hit record. Now, now the video is being made. Now I can actually use this later on. Also, let me know, is the game too loud? Can it be louder? I usually like the game to be audible, but not so loud that you can't hear me. Why Nature's Madness on Bulu? So Tapu Bulu, naturally at zero speed, has one less speed than Necrozma. Therefore, I can uh, cut something's HP in half and then hit it with Necrozma for pretty much a guaranteed KO. Okay. So, more likely than not, that Reggie Lucky is going to go for a Protect. I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Muddy Water and switch right out into my Politoed. Dang, I wish I had an Electro-type on this team. Maybe I should just fake out the Eveltal. I'm going to do this. I should have brought Bulu. Bulu actually wouldn't have been that bad. Alright, cool. Got the Protect correct. If I got this right. So they got Protect on that thing too. I mean... It's pretty likely they're just going to go ahead and like Electroweb my, my team right now. Um, I can go for a Scald on this Regieleki. Predicting them to be Focus Sash. And that'll help me just break that immediately. And they should be doubling into this Kingdra. Like, they should be very scared of it. Yep, there it is. That's... They're definitely not faster than me is the thing. They know that, right? And that kind of reveals... Um, that kind of reveals AV... Or not AV, what am I saying? They just protected. That reveals, like, special defensive. Probably not running Sucker Punch or anything. Alright, cool. That is now in range of my beautiful little move that I like to call Muddy Water. I can helping hand this as well for maximum damage on that Eveltal, since I've already been scalded in my Politoed. There's a good chance they'll do it again. Alright, can I get, like, a crit on this Eveltal, since we know it's not AV? There's the Protect. Smart, 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 smart. Come on. Don't you dare miss me. Or don't you dare miss that thing. So many times this King just failed me. Oh, that's the damage I want. That's the damage I want. It's Citrus. Okay, that's a little disgusting. There's the Snarl. Um... This next turn, I could try to Helping Hand Draco. Actually, no, I should always just double again. I should always double. Actually, I'm not even going to Helping Hand it this time. I'm actually going to Haze. Because I because they probably are going to switch out the Regieleki, if anything. And that means, so it's... And they, they might even protect the Eveltal. So I'm going to Haze now. And I should still always KO the Regieleki. I hope. I might be... No, no, I always KO. I always KO. Oh yeah, baby. They're gonna snarl again, and then they're gonna feel stupid. Snarl! Feel stupid and bad about your play. There it is. Please do not crit me, I'd be very upset. Thank you! Good health on this guy, good health on this guy. Haze. You know, I could've also scalded but it might have not KO'd. <laughs> Kingdra's really slept on this this format, honestly. Like, I think Kingdra's phenomenal. I think Kingdra... I personally, as a, as, as a YouTuber, I think Kingdra's beautiful. Alright, check this out. Power play. Muddy Water this turn. I'm gonna reset my rain. They're not taking this rain from me. Rain, rain will not go away. It will come back very soon. I'm going to go into Incineroar. Because they should double Protect if they can. And I'm pretty sure they don't have Sucker Punch if they're running Protect. They probably got Oblivion Wing and like Foul Play or, or Dark Pulse or something. 
Rain boosted, life orb boosted, moxie boosted. We got the whole squad. We got the whole squad. I th they thought they were slick. They thought they were slick, but no. I was slick. Probably because I'm all lubed up from the water. Very slick. Alright, time to click the same move again. And if I land it on both of these Pokemon, I just win. I just win. Volcarona can't protect itself, and we know it's not running Sash. It could be running the Waterberry, for all I know. And there's the forfeit. <laughs> so, don't let anyone tell you that your dreams can't be achieved. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't 4-0 any Veltal team with a Dustmane Necrozma squad. Because guess what? That's what we just did. That is what we just did. Let's see. 8 3 9 Dang, they edgy. They, they really edgy. Okay. So we got... Just a standard Kyogre team, but they threw on... They threw on... Indeedee for redirection and a Dracovish to scare me. Definitely Scarf Dracovish. Or it could even be Banded. It could be like Scarf Kyogre Banded Dracovish. Nothing on this team hits Tapu Bulu. I'm just going to put that out there for you guys. Um, I can lead off... Bulu Necrozma pretty reliably, in fact. I'm going to go ahead and bring the Kingdra, because Reverse Swift Swim Sweeping sounds really good. I think I'm going to go Politoed. I think I'm going to go Politoed. It's probably Dark Urshifu, so Politoed isn't that bad. Actually, mm, Sash, Sash Zapdos feels better. Surprise Shiftry isn't getting more looks. I feel like Shiftry could have some potential, but I don't know how great it'd be. Maybe like Assault Vest Snarl would be pretty good. Bagged Milk, thank you so much for the follow. You know, I live in uh, I live in Illinois, so we're just on the border of Wisconsin where I live, and some places in Wisconsin sell bagged milk, which is crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Hey, you know what? The, the computer running like well... It shows, because I couldn't consistently get the Pokeball transition to work, and now it's consistently working. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh no! It's in Didi! If only we had some kind of slow grass type specifically meant to ensure that we didn't have to deal with psychic terrain because it's significantly slower than the rest of the terrain centers! Oh, wait, we do! There he is! <laughs> I'm gonna click Snarl in Trick Room, because you can't do anything about it. That lets me break a Sash, and also possibly get rid of, like, a Dark Berry on that thing. They tell me Moxie boosted. Why do you use Tapu Bulu? Why would you use Tapu Bulu? It's so bad. Let me tell you, when your Rillaboom leads off against Ndidi Female, what do you do? Do you U-turn? Of course you do, because you're not based, like Tapu Bulu. I hunted for this Bulu for days to do this, just specifically to get the Zero Speed Bulu. I hunted for days, and I got it. I love Tapu Bulu. This guy's like my new favorite Pokemon. Like that shiny Absol that my best friend gave me when I was in like the ninth grade. No, trash, trash. This Bulu that I hunted myself, beautiful. We missed you, Marcos. Thank you. Thank you. I missed you guys. Slowest terrain setter is Pinkurchin. Yeah, but Pinkurchin can't do what Bulu does because Bulu does what Bulu does best. Anyways, time to Horn Leech. Let's see how much this Horn Leech does to this um, not very cool Pokemon. Um, actually, I should just Snarl to break the Sash and Sunsteel Strike. As they do follow me, that's fine. That's fine. I guess I should have predicted that, but I really didn't think they'd stay in. What are they going to do this turn? Are you going to fake tears me? I really doubt it. No, that would have gone first. Kind of confused. Kind of confused. What are they going to do this turn? Are they going to encore me? No, they can't because it would have gone first. What are you doing? They couldn't encore me if they tried, though. I have the mental herb. I really don't know what they were gonna, what they're going to do with this thing. Oh yeah, what a beautiful Pokemon.
ladies and gentlemen, we are facing, we are facing, don't, don't let anyone tell you that this didn't happen. We are facing Trick Room Whimsicott. How crazy is that? Like, this is a beautiful moment. People said it didn't exist, but dang it. We're looking at it right now. Wow. Trick Room Whimsicott. I might cry. I might. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to Trick Room again. I guess Kyogre can come up. I don't think I need Solgaleo to win. Oh, they... There was no situation where you should have clicked that. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. <laughs> there was no situation where you click Crunch over Ficious Ren. The Ficious Ren would have killed me, dude. And you know the Choice Bandit because it did that much. That was good. That was good. I think they, I think they, re as soon as they saw it didn't kill, they were like, oh, now I am sad. Okay. So that's a W. Obviously, you don't get the points yet, but any second now, you will. Opponent DC'd and you lost three ranks. It's just because other people ranked up. All right, Drizzle ranked six dot. Oh, this guy's not going to have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's not going to have a good time. He's going to have the opposite of a good time. Um, I actually... I'm somewhat tempted to lead Zapdos Bulu. Just because it's so scary for my opponent. Or Zapdos Necrozma. And I can bring in Cinnamon in the back in case they end up leading off with the uh, the other thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I bring Bulu. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, because it is so difficult for them to beat this lead. I guess the minute the whims got stayed in, I should have guessed uh, Trick Room was going to go up or come down, technically. How you guys liking the stream so far? I missed streaming. I really did. Okay. Oh. They're not going to have a great time. I don't think they're in a very. I don't think they're gonna have a very good time with this. Um. So what I can actually do here, I'm gonna trick room up, even though I know that they have. Actually, I don't think they brought a Moongus to this game if they did that. They should follow me. I can taunt the Indeedee this turn, and the next turn the Xerneas is just free. And if they do decide to go into Amoongus for some reason, like, I'm still good, because I'm always going to go into Incineroar next turn. Glad to see you streaming, I'm taking notes too here. Listen, my only goal this season is to prove how busted Bulu Necrozma can be. My only goal this, this season is to prove that that is a busted combination, and people are sleeping on it. I can see my microphone peaking occasionally. I'm going to try to back up the microphone a little bit to prevent that from happening, as I probably just made it happen again. Anyways, time to start clicking buttons. Ooh, wait, wait, you want to see a gamer move? You want to see a gamer move? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I always go into my incense. I'll always do this. Um, I really wanted to predict... I really wanted to predict and um, and go for it. Okay, yeah. They stayed in with the Ndidi, so they likely just gave me this. Because I believe Ndidi would switch first, right? Or am I stupid? Is that not how it works under Trick Room? Does it stay the same? I forget. That's important for me to know from now on. No, they just protect the, the Xerneas. Uh, I guess they expanding forced. 
Anyways, they have to hand something over to me now. Like, every time. Like, there's no way they can't hand something over to me. That's gonna do, like, two to Necrozma. I'm super special defensive. Oh, yeah. That was a crit, too. I was like, there's no way that does that much. Anyways, um, let me Sunsteel Strike into the Xerneas, and... I could also Flare Blitz, just in case they decide to go Amoongus here. But I think it's in my best interest to Parting Shot the Xerneas, in case they do go Incineroar, and then I can actually get in my Tapu Bulu and go for close combat. Yep. Oh, I could have I could have Photon Geysered. I almost, I almost Flare Blitz, too. You guys heard me do that. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. All right. This should still do a decent amount. Is they Shadow Ball? Hello? I should have Flare Blitzed. I was scared they were going to go Incineroar, but this kind of tells me they just don't have it. They get the special defense drop. That kind of sucks. Alright, uh, let me get in my Bulu here. I don't get one shot by this Amoongus under any situation. So I can just get right back into my Incineroar and I'm just going to Horn Leech. Because they should be going for the... Um, they should be going for a Spore into Necrozma right now to prevent anything from dropping on their side of the field. Because I kind of drop everything. I do got the goggles on this guy. So let me Horn Leech here. Pretty free. I don't think they have Incineroar, judging by how they've been playing it. Probably just gonna like Shadow Ball or something with the Indeedee, considering they didn't switch. Oh, they did switch. What am I taking from you? Can it be Can it be Clefairy? Okay, that's fine. So they got three redirectors and a Xerneas. They, they just went crazy this game. They said three redirectors and a Xerneas. So what they're essentially telling me is, no, Marcos, I don't have a way of beating the... <laughs> I don't have a way of consistently beating your Necrozma. That's what they've revealed to me right now. Um, I'm just going to stay in and KO this Clefairy. I think that's my play. I mean, I can try to KO the Amoongus. I'm going to get redirected, though. And I never lose my Bulu here, so I can just go for, um... Just go for a Horn Leech pretty safely. I don't really need Bulu to win. I just need it to... Oh! Oh, they are handing over the Indeedee this turn. Actually, no, they're not. They're going to live. I was really hoping, um... I was really hoping they would go Xerneas right there. But I just have to... This is going to be a slower endgame. I just have to chip away at it. As they tried it. They tried it. Yeah, no. I did Flare Blitz that thing, right? Did I accidentally Flare Blitz the Clefairy? Because I meant to Flare Blitz Amoongus. Okay, sometimes I'll make like a mental note saying it's going to get redirected anyways, and that mental note will translate into me clicking it into the Pokemon it's going to get redirected into, even though it's almost never the play you should make. Anyways, time to spam Snarl with two Pokemon and win. I'm not going to get outplayed by Pressure Eternatus. Not on this stream, at the very least. It'd be really funny if that aged super, super poorly. Time to click Snarl. It's the best move in the game, as long as it doesn't miss. So Struggle Bug's technically better, unless Struggle Bug became sound-based. It's not... Sound-based Struggle Bug would be the best move in the game. Oh, This is going to be funny. This is going to be really funny. They, they still don't know. They still don't know. You know what's funny about this? Is I always outpace them by clicking Snarl twice. Like, they, they can't outpace me. Because it takes two turns to get the Geomancy up. So the second, the second pair of Snarls just always brings it down to minus two. As I miss the Indeedee. Connect on the only thing that matters, though. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, now I'm actually not going to Snarl. Actually, no, I should always Snarl. I was... They might just forfeit here. I think you would forfeit to double Snarl. 
Oh, they don't. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm wondering what their thought process is with that play. Maybe they just didn't want to get KO'd by Snarl. Anyways, now they're at minus two. I'm just gonna keep clicking this and see what they do. I, I I might bully a little bit. I might I might be bullying them a little bit by spamming this move. I mean, I could also just parting shot and horn leech now. And I'll just snarl. I'll snarl. I'll, I'll do one more round of snarls and see how they react. They're gonna helping hand. Okay, is this a Moonblast or a Dazzling Gleam? Regardless of which one, it's not doing much. It's gonna be into Bulu. Oh, Incineroar. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I, that was that was what I was thinking. I was just I might just snarl until something goes down, and then I'll bring in, and then I'll bring in uh, Necrozma and win. That's really my safest way of going about doing this because I don't want to get crit on switching, because that could actually lose me the game. Um, but also, I don't think they're going to follow me this turn, so I could just go now. Yeah. Uh, I'll parting shot Snarl. Now I can just, I can just go in and get it over with. Because Moonblast will go first, I can just parting shot and it's safe. He really brought three redirectors. Hey, the Aquatic Frog. Thank you so much for the uh, raid. How you doing? How was your stream? Yeah, this is kind of funny. This is this is going to be pretty funny. Yeah, there it is. There's the forfeit. There's the forfeit. The Krauser Dust Mane, absolutely crazy. Hmm. Wow. Um, a lot of things that... A lot of things that um, the Krosma doesn't like. However, however, I can pretty reliably lead off Kingdra in Cineroar. Bring the Politoed in the back, and I think I always bring the Necrozma here, and that should be safe. Uh, my rain mode goes kind of stupid on them. It really does go kind of stupid on them. My rain mode does go kind of stupid on them. Yeah, I mean, I guess the worst case scenario is if they lead off with Sableye and just quash me the whole game. Which, granted, I do have a Dustman across me, so there's a good chance they got that. But that's also why I'm leading off with Incineroar. It lets me intimidate any annoying leads that aren't Sableye. They go Urshfu Rillaboom. Is it dark or water? It is dark. Okay. So that makes me pretty glad I went with this lead. Um, yikes, this could be really bad. I definitely need to fake out that Urshifu. I want to make a read. I want to make a read and say that they're always going to fake out my my Incineroar here. Because if I drop a Hurricane, that'd be phenomenal for me. I'm going to go for the Protect. Uh, it's Actually, no, there's, there's no reason to Protect. I'm going to go for it. This is really risky, but if I get it, it's, it's huge. I mean, I can't Protect versus this thing. I, I, want, to, I want to assume that they're going to fake out the Incineroar to prevent me from faking out the Urshifu. Because I can always fake out Urshifu here. Which Pokemon team are you using in your match today? I am using the uh, Necrozma team.
Come on. Dang it. Oh, I thought I had him. I thought I had him good. As I lose my son. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I mean, I can just go into the Incinerator now and go for the Scald into the Urshifu, and that wouldn't be that bad. If I can get a burn on this Urshifu early game, that'd be great. Um, I shouldn't get KO'd by Woodhammer at minus two, I think. So they'd have to double into me. But I think the Grassy Glide is always smarter. They could double into Polito, but I think with the Citrus I'll live. Alright, cool. Looks like they're playing it straightforward. I need to keep that in mind for the rest of the match. I kind of read the lead a little too hard. Can I get a burn, please? Can I please get a burn? Alright, so... I think after... I think after Grassy Terrain I live that now. Can I please get a burn? Oh, I got the crit. And the burn! <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, no. Uh, my play is now just to Flare Blitz to KO that thing. And I have to keep my... I want to fake out here. I want to fake out. No, I live, I live that hit. No, I can just go for the fake out into the Rillaboom and Snarl. Or in Scald now. Because Rillaboom's at minus two, I just, you know, I need to be scared. I, I need to be scared of it still. Utah the Urshifu, something's getting Scalded and it's not going to like it. It's the Entei. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Getting the Scald and the Entei is going to be amazing. Okay. So it looks like Aviente, judging by the damage. Just judging by the damage there, I'm going to say Aviente. And that makes me think that they likely have extreme speed as well. I think I'm just going to double... Actually, I'm going to go into Necrozma here. And I'm going to Protect. And then on the next turn, I'll be able to double back into my... Because they, they could go for, like, Grassy Glide into, like, Extreme Speed or even Snarl. Um, and I'm trying to ensure that they're going to want to go for, like, a, a Fire move into this Necrozma. Yeah, there's the Snarl. That's fine. Probably also Wood Hammered, if anything. A little bit more recovery. And that should have successfully baited... That, that should successfully bait the, um, the fire move. I could also play it crazy right now. I could also play a little crazy right now. Do I play it crazy? Because I could trick room right now. I could, and they would not like it. They would hate that. I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go crazy. We're going crazy in this match. We're going crazy in this match. Let me Scald again. I'm not even going to switch in the freaking... Um, I'm not even going to switch in the Incineroar. We're going crazy. Give me this damage. I'm going crazy this match. I'm going crazy this match. <laughs> it's over. You don't recover from that. You literally don't recover from that. I just start clicking buttons and I'm good. I start clicking my, my Photon Geyser and I win. It's fair to crit against Urshifu. <laughs> There's the Sableye. Uh, I guess the Quash could be annoying. I suppose the Quash could be annoying. Actually, they didn't bring Zacian. They straight up didn't bring the... Dude, they just brought like three... They didn't bring the Zacian at all. They just brought like three Pokemon that they thought might be able to counter this thing. No, that, yeah, If unless they have, like, a rock or a ground move on the Entei, which they might, because they're AV, um, then, then I'm just fine. I'm literally just fine. And I don't mind the foul play, like, ever. Actually, I might mind the foul play a bit. 
There's the Entei. I'm just gonna scald it again. I really am just gonna scald it again. I'm gonna go hard into the uh, Incineroar. Because they should be faking out Necrozma if not just going for the foul play. I really thought they had Zacian in the back. I mean, I just have to click Flare Blitz against the Zacian with like a help, or against the Sableye with a helping hand and they lose it. And I don't really see how they beat Politoed without heavily, heavily relying on their Rillaboom. I just have to play super defensively for a while. I'm not defensively, like, play bulky. Bulky offense right now. Because I got to start clicking buttons, but, you know, nothing that hurts too much because I don't have anything that hurts too much right now. They withdraw. Can I get this burn? That'd be great. That'd be great. Let's get this burn, gamers. How's it going, Crypto Created? Oh, yeah. Can I get this burn, gamers? If I get this scald, I'm going to be ecstatic. Behold, my burn. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? Behold, my burn. <laughs> okay. Um, I no longer fear that Rillaboom. I straight up don't. I'm going to scald and Flare Blitz into this Sableye right now. Because they might double into Entei. I don't know why they would, but I feel like they might. Recognizing. Recognizing that this thing's scary to them. Burn on command, yes. Burn on command. I can also just helping hand. Now, I think Scald Flare Blitz does a little more. Because I don't know what they think the Sableye does here. They might actually go into Entei. And they might fake out the, the Rillaboom. I'm pretty sure they fake out Rillaboom, or fake out the Incineroar here, if anything. They go for Sunny Day. Oh, they have no idea how bad that was for them. They got no clue how bad that was for them. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's fun. That's fun. Can I get a burn just to prevent the Grassy Terrain recovery? Eh, no burn for me. I live that, though. Oh, I don't. I thought I would. I really done thought. Yeah, that's the, that's the crit. I guess, I guess I deserve that crit. I suppose I deserve that crit right now. Okay. Um, so I have a pretty clear win con. It's just going to be my Incineroar pretty much carrying the rest of the game. I'm going to go into my Necrozma here. Like, they could Will-O-Wisp me, but I still do way too much damage, so I can just go for Photon Geyser pretty safely. Yeah, this, I have two turns of Trick Room, too, so I can always just Flare Blitz here. I'm going to Photon Geyser. Or not Photon Geyser, uh, Sunseal Strike. Like I just I just keep throwing out moves and I win. And Entei doesn't like this. Like from the range it's at, it doesn't like uh sun boosted attacks. As they miss, um I'm not sure how much it mattered at this point in the match, all things considered. But that should just be game. Because I still have a turn in Trick Room, and I can just click Photon Geyser into the Entei. Polly did so much work this match. Dude, Polly in every match it comes to is going to do work. That's just the rule for Polly Toad. It's always going to carry.
Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can just Flare Blitz. Photon Geyser. As we do correctly guess AV. Because they should have always protected there if they weren't. Nice. I love Politoed so much. Awesome. Doing really good today. 12 and 1. Hey, can I get a PP up? Let me, uh... Oh, I forgot to check out his team. All right, 849. Oh. I always lead off with, uh... Epibulu here. Yeah, it's a uh, Bulu Necrozma is how I lead, right? Yeah. Cinnamon in the back. And my last Demon is typically Polito, but sometimes I go Zapdos because it's a bit safer versus stuff like Zarina. Hmm. I'm gonna go Zapdos. Because a lot of the time, they'll think that they can uh, one shot my Necrozma. They cannot. They, they straight up can't. <laughs> Let's go Whimscout Urshifu. Is that Urshifu Water? Please be Urshifu Water. Oh yeah, baby. It's Urshifu Water. Thank you. Thank you. I shall now take my W. This is a horrible lead for my opponent. Orin Leech the Urshifu. Trick Room, because they cannot prevent it. I think the only Whimsicott I lose to is Taunt plus Encore Whimsicott. That's the only way they can, like, really screw me over. And that's not common. It's typically, like, one or the other. I really hope they just go for the Taunt here. That'd be great. Oh. Fatal error, my friend. Fatal error. The U-turn. They're not going to like this. They have, like, zero switch-ins for this move. Go into your Calyrex, I dare you. Pretty sure, like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Horn Leech into Snarl just KOs. And I'm always going to Snarl Sunsteel Strike next turn. If it goes Arena, that's fine too. That's fine too. Matter of fact, um, I'm not going to let the Zarina do anything. I'm not going to let the Zarina do anything. I'm going to go for a... I think second Horn Leech into Photon Geyser should do the trick. I don't need to risk missing with, um... Do I need to risk missing? I don't think I do. Actually, what am I saying? I really don't care about the Zarina. It's pretty much not even an issue. I can just, like, Horn Leech again. I'm gonna do this. Please Encore me. Oh yeah, they thought. Hello Encore. Meet my friend Mentalurb. <laughs> he must now do an Encore. No he doesn't. Alright, bye Whimsicott. Viewers on YouTube, someone said, uh, what if they, or it was, uh, JS Midi said, what if they Encore TR? And then immediately was like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> we got to, we got to show him firsthand. And that's why you should tune into streams if you're watching on YouTube. You should show up firsthand. I'm living this 100%. Tapu Bulu is just way too cool. He's literally just way too cool for this. You can't do anything about it. Here's the Calyrex. Um, I can always just Snarl. I think Snarl into Photon Geyser should do it on the Zarina. Yeah. 
I think that might do it. Zarina's pretty physically defensive, but I feel comfortable doing this. Yeah, because even if they protect, I still have Incinera in the back, which is really difficult for them to deal with. They could also miss unless they're wide lens. I was tempted to go for the um, Nature's Madness. Is there Citrus Berry? Nice. Triple Axel. Come on. Only two. Only two. Bulu, only two. Oh, okay. Well, they only needed two. I suppose they only needed two. So I suppose Arena probably has Protect. I mean, I always go into Incineroar here. And I always click Photon Geyser into Zarina. And the reason I go for Snarl Photon Geyser is because I'm, I'm never dying to even, like, neutral um, Astro Barrage. And this just makes it so if they weren't running the Sash on the Whimsicott and it was on the Urshifu, I still get the KO. And also, Calyrex just does not like this. <laughs> he just does not like this. Hopefully no Protect on Zarina. That'd be great. They're helping hand. Uh, no, I still live that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know right now, I still live that, as long as I connect. Oh, and it's single target. And this is gonna be a single target move. He's not gonna like this at all. Boom. That does so much. Single target, that does so much. Astro Barrage, prepare to do 70. Eh, roughly 70. I get a little bit of recovery here. Just a bit of recovery. And the next Snarl definitely kills Calyrex, so that's good to keep in mind. I'm really hoping they're just Mystic Water or Urshifu, because then I definitely win. Alright, do you protect on the Urshifu? Time to find out. They do not. Alright, that's game. Probably Scarf. I'm gonna check that after the battle. Someone remind me, I'm gonna forget. And yeah, because I have um, Focus Sash on my Zapdos, I always win. Because I just have to click, um, even if they get like the nastiest crit of all time, I always win. Snarl. Sunsteel Strike. It'd be funny if it didn't even KO. It's gonna, but it'd be funny if it didn't. Hmm. Poor Calyrex. He never stood a chance. Critical hit on the Incineroar, though. That's pretty cool. All right, good game, good game. Awesome. GGs. Continue battling. Can I get a can I get a one in chat? For our beautiful Tapu Bulu. 705. We hardly got any points from that. We hardly got any points from that. Next one, we're definitely top 500, right?